Routing is one of the most important concept for any application. It is not specific to Angular but it is in any web application. And routing is basically a concept of navigation in between multiple pages by using the URL. Just for the example, let's open the browser. And here in this browser, let's open the Angular official website. Search for the Angular, hit the enter button over here and just use this one. At this place, you can see that we only have the domain. We do not have anything else. And we are having this home page at this place. If I will click on these features, then you will notice we got features in the URL and we have a second page at this place. If I click on this docs, you can see that this URL has been updated and we have some other features. We have this left side menu, we have this middle document over here and if I click on any one of these, let's say what is Angular, then you can see we have guide then this what is Angular and we have similar changes at the bottom side of this page. Basically in one single application there are multiple pages and we can navigate in between those pages by using the URL. You can also type the URL manually in the browser and you can also click on the buttons and the links and you can navigate based on those actions. We have to add the similar feature in our bookstore application and we have to understand how the routing works in Angular. This is the bookstore application that we have created in one of the previous video. As of now, if you will open the app.module.ts file, this one, here you can see we only have the browser module and the app component in this app module. But we have created several other modules in this bookstore application. For example, we have created this auth module, this public module, this shared module and this user module. But there is no relation in between all these modules and the app module. And you have already seen in one of the previous video that when we run the application for the first time, then this app module is used. Okay, so let's close all these files. And here let's generate few more components specific to this app module. So here I'm writing ngGC and I'm giving a name about us. This is the name of my component, hit the enter button. And because we have not specified any path, so by default it will be added in the app module ts. You can notice that at the root level we got this about us and we have this component. If you will open this app module, you can see this about us component has been added in the declaration. Okay, let's add one more over here. Let's say this time I am having how it works and hit the enter button. And again in the app module file, we have this how it works component. Okay, let's run this application by using the ng serve command. And here I can write ng serve dash o to open the browser by default. This application is running in the browser. And you already know that the Angular application is the combination of multiple modules. There are several built-in modules that are provided by the Angular team. And there are few modules that we can add by ourselves in the development and we can use all these modules in the Angular application and it will work. For the routing purpose, Angular team has already created a built-in module and the name of that module is router module. So here to enable the routing in the existing application, we have to use the router module. And here just assume that we do not have these extra modules like this auth, public, shared and user. We only have this app module and we only have these three components. The first is this app component and this how it works component and the about us component. So we will start our learning from the basic one. Okay, so here let's open this app module file and in this app module, if I want to use some other module, then I have to import that in the imports array. So in this section, I have to use that router module. Let's say after this browser module, I'm adding the router module this router module, hit the enter button and this router module is available at this at the rate angular and the router. And in this router module, there are a couple of methods. So here we have to use for root. This for child is also used for the routing, but we will come to that concept later. And as of now, just understand that we have to use for root. Now let's see what we have in this for root. Here you can see that we have to provide two parameters over here. The first one is this routes, the type is this routes. And then the second is this configuration and this is optional. 
we have to provide at least one parameter over here in this for root method and the type of that parameter is this route so let's copy this one go back to the app module and over here let's create one new field so const routes the type is this routes let's import this one also and this routes is also available at the same place so both of them are placed inside one single curly bracket now it is a type of array and we have to pass this routes over here save the changes we have imported this router module here in this application but if i want to use it in my application then i have to export this router module so that all other components can use it so let's copy this router module and let's create one more array for the exports and here we have to pass this router module that's it now we have set up the router module over here now let's open the app component.html file remove this entire code save the changes and again let's open the browser and here again let's open the angular website at this place you can see that if i click on the stokes then you can see that this upper part is same that is this menu bar is same but the below part has been updated if i click on the resources then still the above part is same but this below content has been updated let's click on this education you can notice the rest other feature is same only this basic part has been updated with the new page it means in the angular application we need to define a place where the other components will get rendered at this place in this angular application i want to define that place over here in this app component because this is the default component that is used in the angular application and to define that place we have to use the router outlet We have to use this router outlet now what will happen all other components that we will use in the routing those will be placed at this place if you are having some doubt in your mind then do not worry just wait for few more minutes again let's go to this app module file and over here we have to define our paths so here we have to create first object and in this first object we have to define the path let's say if the path is about us this one then I want to call this component the name of the component is about us component this one save the changes now just go back to the browser here let's open our application at the home page we do not have anything but now let's add the about us in this URL hit the enter button and you can see that we are getting the message from this about us component Let's open this about us component and here you can see we are having the same message in this component.html file. Let's remove this message from here and let's write our own custom message. Hello from about us. Save the changes and here you can see we are having the updated message. Now let's add the similar route for this how it works component. So copy this entire code, just put a comma at the last, paste it again and this time update your route so here i'm writing how it works and here i'm writing how it works component this one save the changes go back to the browser okay so we have this about us if i remove it then we have the home page and if i append how it works hit the enter button then you can see we are getting the message from this how it works component now let's see what is the concept of this router outlet and for that let's open this app.component.html file and over here let's say here i'm defining a div and here let's say i'm having a message in the h1 tag that this is the header save the changes just copy it at the bottom side also let's say i'm writing the footer save the changes go back to the browser and here you can see that we are having this header and footer on this how it works page if i use the about us over here still you can notice that we are having this header and footer and the message from the about us page now it means this app component is basically a layout for all these components because we have defined our header and footer and these are common so it means this is a kind of layout and this middle part will get replaced with the component that we will use in the routing.